Hey guys, it's me Talha. So I was working on this reading corner Enscape rendering tutorial, which I will be uploading next week. I used this parametric bookshelf family in the project and I thought it would be great to make a video showing you how I model this cool fully parametric bookshelf family. If you are a beginner, you are definitely going to learn something new. By the way, this family will be available for free on my website cadnits.com. So make sure to check out the link in the description. Now let's get started. So here I am in Revit and first let's create a new family template. Let's go to file, new, family. Here I will just go back once and go to the English folder because I want to use a metric uh, family template. Let's scroll down and look for a wall based family. Here we have it, generic model wall based. Let's open this up and as you can see we have this wall and this default uh, reference plane. And here I think we should just move this text to the side. Now before working on this we want to set the units UN and here I'm just going to change the length to meters. And let's click OK. OK again. Now let's go to placement side. Here first I'm going to create uh, some new reference planes. Let's select this one CS and we'll create two vertical reference planes for width and one horizontal for the height. Let's create dimensions here di and I'm going to create dimensions like this and then we need to click this little eq to equally divide the space on both sides. Now we need to create the width parameter. Let's select this one and I'm going to click here to create a new parameter. Let's call it width and it's going to be an instance parameter. Instance parameter helps you create multiple families in your project with different sizes. Anyway, let's click OK. And now I'm going to create another dimension for the height from here like so. And let's select that and I'm going to create a new parameter. Let's call it height. And it's also going to be an instance parameter. Now let's click OK and I'm just going to change the scale to 1 to 10 because the text seems to be too big. So I'm just going to change it to 1 to 10. Now it's looking much better. Let's move them up here. Now let's test these parameters. You can click here and I'm just going to change the height to 1.8 meters and the width. 1 meter. Let's click OK. As you can see the parameters working perfectly. Now let's go back to the top view and here we'll create a new reference plane for the depth. Let's create a dimension. Hit tab key to uh, highlight this face and we'll create a dimension and let's select that and create a new parameter called depth. This one will leave it type. Let's click OK. And I'm just going to uh, make the depth 30 centimeters. So you can just type here 30. You just need to add a centimeter. Hit apply. OK. There we go. Now let's go back to the front view. And since it is uh, going to be a parametric family, we need to create some more reference planes here. So Let's select this, press CS on the keyboard and we'll first create the reference planes for the shelves. So I will create one here and this is going to be our base. Now let's create one more here and another one. Basically this is going to be the thickness of the shelves. I'm going to create four more reference planes here because we want to create three shelves. Now here we need to create the top. Now once that's done, we need to create dimensions again for each of these shelves so that we can assign parameter. Now let's select all of these dimensions and we'll create a new uh, shelf thickness parameter. Let's leave it type, click OK. Now let's create uh, some more dimensions because we want to equally divide uh, the spacing between uh, these shelves. So let's press DI 
and this one will create from here from this reference plane and then we'll select the top of this shelf now you just need to click this little EQ to equally divide this now if you notice the sizes of these shelves have been changed so we need to fix that just open up the properties and here we have the thickness parameter let's make it five centimeter click apply okay there we go now we have this reference planes uh, equally divided now once uh, that's done we need to create reference plane for the supports so let's select this reference plane cs and i'm going to create a reference plane on these sides like so now let's create dimension on both sides and i'm just going to select both of these dimensions and just assign the same shelf thickness parameter because we want to use the same thickness as the shelves there we go now our reference planes are ready now we can go ahead and start creating the geometry so let's go to create extrusion and i'm going to use pick lines and we'll start picking these reference planes make sure you lock these lines with the reference planes let's repeat that here as well we'll just speed up this part we'll pick all of these reference planes and lock them so i have created something like this now we need to split the lines sl i'm just going to split them and then on this side and then here and the last one here so now we can use trim and we'll trim these lines here we need to delete this line and this one as well so we have created this kind of profile now let's go ahead and click finish there we go let's go to top view and here we have our extrusion you just need to drag this handle and attach it to this reference plane then lock and we want to lock it on this side as well so we have attached this extrusion with the with this depth parameter now let's go to 3d and check the parameters let's open up the properties again and i'm going to change uh, change the height here let's go with four meter and the width let's try 60 centimeter hit apply and as you can see it's working perfectly fine i will just quickly undo so our shelves are ready let's work on the led cylinder light which can be used as support here so we need to create the reference planes again let's go back to the front view and i'm just going to create reference planes here rp and we'll create one here and another one here i'm just going to make it five centimeter and this one should also be five centimeter so basically this is going to be the metallic part and this is going to be the led cylinder and then we will have another metallic part now we need to create these reference planes on other shelves as well so let's press rp for reference plane and then i'm going to use pick lines and let's give five centimeter offset and we'll pick these lines like so i'm just going to drag them so we can easily add the dimensions now we need to create the dimensions for these reference planes and make sure to lock these dimensions so i have created all the dimensions now if i change the height of this this reference planes should move so let's try three meter as you can see this uh, reference planes are now attached with these shelves let's undo and i'm going to create the cylinder here so let's go to the top view and 
okay here we need to create another reference plane let's make it five uh, five centimeter and again we want to create a dimension and lock it so basically this intersection of these two reference planes is where we will create our uh, cylinder light that's why we locked this dimension or this reference plane anyway let's go to create extrusion and i'm going to create a circle here let's give it three centimeter okay as you can see we cannot actually lock this circle if i try to align it with the reference plane we don't have this uh, option it does not snap anything so how do you lock a circle or curved lines with reference planes in revit well you just need to select the circle and you will see this checkbox center mark visible right now it's unchecked so you just need to check this to turn on the center mark now if i move the circle and use align al and we'll just align this center mark with this reference plane now we can see this lock icon just need to lock it and we'll lock it on this side as well like so now let's use pick lines and i'm going to give two millimeters and we'll pick the circle again we need to repeat, repeat the same select the circle turn on the center mark and move the circle and just align the circle with the reference plane and lock it both on horizontal and vertical reference planes now once that's done we can go ahead and click this green check mark and let's go to the placement side and now we need to attach this cylinder with these two reference planes so i'm just going to drag it and lock with this reference plane and at the bottom as well so we have created this led cylinder now we need to create these connectors or the this metallic part here so instead of creating a new extrusion we can simply select this one copy to clipboard paste align to same place still it's selected we can just drag it here and just drag this one and lock it now we will repeat the same for the bottom uh, part as well so we already have copied this one so we can simply click this drop down align to same place now we can just simply drag it here and the top as well so if i go to 3d you can see we got something like this so this is going to be our led cylinder light that can be used as support as well now we can simply copy this so let's go back to the front view and we just need to make a selection like this and right now it's attached to this reference planes so we need to dissociate this with the reference planes so we can easily copy this uh, to this side here uh, with this selected you need to click this drop down select edit work plane here you have this dissociate button just click it just click ok and now we can simply copy this from the base point here to the center of this one and then here and then on this one as well okay here we just need to attach it to this reference plane like so now we need to attach these cylinders with uh, with these new reference planes so they should move when we change the height and width of this bookshelf just make sure all of these are locked this one is already locked so now let's go to the 3d view and let's test the parameters just going to open up the properties and let's try the depth let's try 60 as you can see the depth is working fine and as the depth changes this supports also moved so let's leave it 30 centimeters and the height let's try 3 meter height and the width 2 meters let's hit apply there we go 
it's looking perfectly fine. I'll just press undo. Now, as you can see, all the parameters are working fine. Now, let's quickly create the material parameters for this. First, I'm going to select this one and you need to click this little button here, associate family parameter, and then click here to create a new parameter. Let's call it wide wood. If you want to create multiple of these in your project and want each of them to have a different material, you can choose instance parameter. I'm just going to go with type. Just click OK and let's select these cylinders. Let's hold down the control key and select all of these and then we'll create a new parameter for this as well. Let's call it LED. Hit OK. Then I'm going to select this. and let's call it metal click ok and you will find all the material parameters in the in the family properties here and there you have it so that's how you create parametric families in revit i hope you have learned something new so stay tuned for the enscape rendering tutorial this bookshelf family will be available for free on my website careneeds.com so make sure to check out the link in the description and yeah i will see you guys in the next video